it's fourteen hundred now, right? Uh, yes. But but here in Tokyo, it's actually twenty one hundred. Yeah, nine p.m. It's really good for me. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. Thank you so much for coming to my session. I'm really happy to be here. And if you don't mind, please turn your camera on. I'd like to see your faces. Only if you don't mind. Hi. <laughs> uh, the session title, uh, Let's Automate Renewing Free SSL Certificates on Your FileMaker Server. So, my name is Koji Takeuchi from Tokyo, Japan. I'm doing DevOps uh, training about FileMaker and blah, 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 blah. And when I'm not writing scripts, I play guitar and vocals at the band. So I look at the Rickenbacker style strap of my guitars. It's pretty, pretty much rock and roll, right? <laughs> In Japan, we pronounce FileMaker like FileMaker and spell it like F A I L maker, fail maker. Yeah. It uh, definitely describes me. And my apologies. Some people think I'm good at speaking English, but I'm really sorry. It's a common misunderstanding. I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm only good at faking English or pretending a good English speaker, unfortunately. So during my session, uh, sometimes hard to understand what I say uh, because of my bad accent. Please just leave it, ignore it. Maybe it's not a big deal. <clears throat> so, uh, Here's the agenda. What is, let's encrypt and get the certificate and put the certificate. How to automate the process and run it periodically. So this session is not about FileMaker Pro and not really about FileMaker Server as well. This session is about SSL certificate and pretty much about install something. Not much about define configurations uh, because it doesn't really need it. So let's see how to make it. First of all, let's encrypt is not my words. It's the name of the service we are about to try. It's a certification authority by Internet Security Research Group. And it's free, totally free, completely free. It provides uh, domain validation certificates only because it doesn't need any real world interaction. And that's why we can make it fully automatic, but still supports to put the multiple domains in one certificate and also supports wildcard certificates for free. Cool, isn't it? But the certificate expires in 90 days. Normal certificates like uh, VeriSign or GeoTrust brings us at least one year term, but let's increase it's only 90 days. We have to renew it in short terms, but 
it's no longer the problem if we can renew it automatically and in every two, three months. So how it works on Let's Encrypt. We send challenge request to Let's Encrypt server. And then challenge access from Let's Encrypt server to verify we are valid owner of the domain. And if we send valid answer to them, Let's Encrypt server send us the certificates. Done. It is not much complicated, isn't it? But, <laughs> and uh, we have to two options of the way to challenge uh, using HTTP or uh, DNS. HTTP is easier, but uh, the host must be reached from the internet. The host means the uh, host which has the exact same FTDN, uh, which about to getting certificate. <coughs> the host we are about to get certificate must be on the internet and must be reached via internet. And sometimes we can't use HTTP method to getting certificates. Uh, for FileMaker server, because we don't always run HTTP server on FileMaker server host. And we don't always run FileMaker server on the internet. This time, I will show you some demos by DNS challenge. So DNS is, uh, I wrote a little complex, but uh, how complicated it is, it's not really. If your DNS service provider supports API access to automate, and as long as we use the right tool, and uh, we don't develop everything for challenge access or downloading certificates. There are number of tools out there and already developed by someone. For example, CertBot. I believe CertBot is the most popular in these days. Well, it's been most popular from start but I've been using the other one. I've been using dehydrated instead of uh, CertBot because a few years ago, CertBot didn't look cool for me. Like uh, it forced me to update Python on my host and didn't support DNS challenge at that time. But now, I believe the third bot is the first choice for most of the people who need to use less encrypt. We can find lots of plugins for common DNS services. Uh, I can click it. And uh, yes, Cloudflare, uh, Google, uh, Root53, uh, and some plugins provided by CertBot uh, official, and some others by third parties. We have a lot of choices. And about dehydrated, we can find uh, but also we can find similar tools called DNS hook script for dehydrated. So there's a list of bunch of DNS challenges, <coughs> uh, DNS services and pretty much similar to third part. So we can use these tools and getting uh, certificates without any coding. <coughs> 
by ourselves. So I'm going to show two demos. Of course, we don't have to write the process. We only define where, which like host name or uh, which DNS provider, uh, this is my API key, uh, something like that. The rest of all, certbot or dehydrated and their plugin or hook script will do everything for us. Okay, uh, let me do some demos. <clears throat> uh, from now, this session would be like a live coding. Uh, no, actually not coding, more like live installing or uh, live setting something up. I know it will be uh, kind of like boring, but I believe you guys will be able to see uh, the, this video later and you can check something when you stuck on your server. I hope this will help someone. So let's start at in installing FileMaker Server. It's quick. So we need to install a few things before installing FileMaker Server. Uh, unzip and uh, for zipping FileMaker Server installer and uh, send OS release something is needed by FileMaker Server. In send OS, we use yum to install something. And sudo means running administrator privilege temporarily. Okay, and uh, one more. Uh, I copy and paste from here. And uh, so, unzip FileMaker Server installer uh, to the new folder named FMS. 19. Uh, extracting. Okay. By the way, how many people are familiar with the command line interface? So please, uh, okay, Egbert, or some people, okay, and some people are not. Okay, uh, maybe it doesn't seem very easy to learn, uh, isn't it? Or feels not intuitive to use, but not really. It's a kind of obedient, like, calculations in FileMaker. So when I say, uh, when I type ls, it returns a list of the folder contents. ls-f, it shows some batches uh, to indicate it's a folder or regular file or executable or kind of like that. ls-l returns long versions of the same list. And ls-lh returns long and human readable file size description. Oh, it's easy, isn't it? <laughs> if you don't do a typo, then it's completely easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the point, Egbert. 
But we still need to be careful uh, of typing. Sometimes it's too honest to be a fault. When I type SL instead of LS, oh my God, such a disaster struck us. <laughs> SL dash uh, F way up to the sky. Much horrible. <clears throat> oh. Is that good? <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> okay, uh, really? Yeah. So let's install FileMaker server. <laughs> uh, change directory to FMS19 and uh, copy and paste. <laughs> so blah, 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 blah. Boring? No, no, it's quick. You can wait this. <clears throat> and uh, of course, you don't have to read this and you don't have to memo this. <clears throat> A license agreement, yes. And uh, we are installing FileMaker server, not web direct worker, zero. And the admin console username and uh, password and the pin. And wait for a while. Normally, installing process is much more fast uh, because I use very weak instance type here, uh, like uh, t3a.micro instance. The Clarice's recommendation is a uh, large instance. Uh, many of you might use a, at least small or medium. Uh, maybe this is the slowest uh, you can see. <clears throat> the thing that's normally slow is downloading the installer, but I see you skip that part. Okay. <clears throat> so you must be boring. Maybe it takes uh, uh, 30 seconds more. Uh, and again, you don't have to read this. File maker server installer care about it, not us. <clears throat> Uh, but uh, this might could be a problem. Well, like a service has started and waiting for connection session and the HTTP servers started. Ah, uh, same old story. HTTP server has a trouble. Oops. Fail to start HTTP server, please reboot the system. Okay. <clears throat> okay, reboot it. And log out automatically, then pin the host uh, to know when the host rebooted. <clears throat> Still shutting down and uh, now shut down and rebooting. <clears throat> and okay, it seems rebooted. Okay. 
then check the FileMaker server running. Okay, the sample files are hosted, okay? <clears throat> so, no, let's install third bot. <clears throat> Installing third bot needs to install uh, some tools. Uh, first of all, ePay release repository. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this part real quick. <clears throat> and uh, install SnapD. Uh, oh, this is a little big. Can you maybe tell us in the meantime what those two programs do for you? Mm -hmm. Two programs? Yeah, the two programs you're installing now, what they do, what will they do? Or why do you, do you need them? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, actually, it's not just two. Okay. It's, uh, we need a bunch of uh, tools or libraries uh, to use third bot. And uh, the one more uh, we will try dehydrated uh, is almost the same. Uh, I can say it's Linux. <coughs> I'm really sorry. <coughs> and uh, doing something more. I'm casting magic spell. Then install third bot. Uh, I see some errors, but uh, it doesn't care. <clears throat> sure, but it's, uh, I think it's, it's not really big. Uh, it won't take a time, I believe, yes. Uh, finished and uh, prepare a little yes uh, we installed third bot tool and uh, we need to install the plugin and before that get python 3 pip3 uh, we need to install them so it's the same old story. Git and uh, Python. And a pip. Okay. Uh, Installing Super plugin for Gandinet here by Git. Yes. Then I install this Super plugin Gandhi. Ah, uh, it seems success. <laughs> so, so many of you no idea, uh, but uh, maybe uh, it's success. The the install plugin because the uh, no red letters. 
Then get the API key of Gandinet. This time we use Gandhi.net for DNS provider. Then let's get the API key of Gandhi.net. Log in and go to user settings. Then click manage uh, the user account and security settings. And click generate the API key. That's all. And then put the API key into the configuration file. So uh, making the directory. Uh, and uh, write the configuration file. Oh, uh, equals to this key is what I got. And then prepare the privileges. So finally, we're here. So let's get the certificates. All of those things we've done here are just preparing the server for CertBot to getting SSL certificates from uh, Let's Encrypt. We have to do this just one time, just first time. After this, every time we get the certificate, uh, only we have to do is this command. Uh, The options may vary. Uh, this time we are using DNS Gandhi and the DNS Gandhi credentials. Okay. Uh, when the first time you run the search bot, you need to specify your email address. And uh, only the first time. After that, you don't need this. And agreement, yes. And registering my email address, blah, 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 yes. Now, uh, oh, it's challenging. Wait for a while. Now it's challenging and getting processed. Completed. So uh, let's see what happened. So well, these folders are created now. A uh, bunch of folders created and the certificates are in the live folder. Uh, okay, congratulations. Okay, we got it. Let's check it out. Uh, how valid by open SSL command. Uh, Ah, uh, let's see. By let's encrypt from today to September second. Perfect. Goji, we have thirty minutes left in this session. We're halfway. Fifteen minutes? Really? 30, Thirty minutes. Not, Thirty minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh, maybe okay. Yeah. So 
uh, like to show you the second one. Well, this time uh, we use dehydrated and DNS service is, is not Gandhi.net, uh, but uh, AWS root 50 feed. The another DNS provider. So uh, this time, uh, I already installed a file maker server. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yes. It's real quick. Let's install it. And uh, it needs to install something again. Uh, Epel release repository again. Then install dehydrated. And uh, like the previous demo, install Python. Uh, okay, and uh, pip and upgrade it and bottle. 